G'day, Sam here from Byron Bay. I'm the Senior Audio Engineer at Ginny Media. Here are today's FAQs. How do I know people will like my podcast? Start with presenting your concept as simply as possible to about 10 people, the kinds of people you'd like to serve. The fastest way to pitching a simple concept is comparing it to something we already know. Example, when writers were pitching The Lion King to Disney, Disney didn't like the idea much until it was presented as King Lear with lions. Now ask the question to those people, would you listen if I made this? Note, people are pretty bad at self-reporting behaviour, so keep that in mind when they answer your questions. However, everyone saying no or hesitating probably isn't a good sign either. The next step is to make something just good enough and say, this is a demo of a podcast idea, what do you think? People are pretty forgiving of low quality if you inform them it's a demo. Really important point to double down here. Make sure you're showing to your intended tribe. Don't show your sister a podcast about cooking meat if she's a vegetarian. Beyond this approach, we can't know for sure, but it may not matter if people like it anyway. Two reasons. You're doing it for you. That's pretty self-explanatory. But number two, it's a part of a bigger brand. Podcasts are a credibility indicator. For example, if you're in real estate doing a podcast about real estate, clients may not listen, but like the idea that you have one. It gives an aura of, you know, what's what. Kind of like the similar vibe to a book author. As long as you're happy with what you put out, it's probably going to work out. Yep, that'll do it. I'm Sam. Catch you later. Hire a pro or become a pro at ginnymedia.com.